Welcome back to Daily Mix, I'm Louise with Sprinkler Glitter and today I'm going to show you three things to do with one picture frame. A lot of you have been in touch with me asking for cool craft ideas and ways that you can make your bedroom a little bit more exciting on a budget, doing things yourself. So today I'm going to show you, first of all, how to make a shabby chic hessian to-do list. For this project you will need a picture frame with a backing and either glass or acrylic, a pair of scissors, a marker pen and a piece of hessian. So first thing you want to do is take a frame. This is quite a large one, so you might want to put something smaller or bigger depending on your tastes. And you want to take the backing off, so the generally the wooden bit like this, and place that to one side. Then you want to take a piece of hessian and cut it roughly to size. So this one, this one I cut earlier, is slightly big, so I'm just going to trim it a little bit. It's okay to have a bit of overhang but we'll just trim it a tiny bit so that it's not too much. You can use the frame as sort of a guideline for how big you need it to be or if you like to be really accurate you can draw around the backing directly onto the hessian to make sure you've got the exact shape. So lay down your hessian onto the glass or perspex, take your backing that you put to one side, place that back on top and then you want to secure it back in, so as if you put a photo in a frame, but just pretend that the hessian is your photo. And as you can see, it doesn't really matter if it's not fit properly because it will only be on the back and nobody will see. Once you have got all the little pegs down and firm, and obviously don't worry about a little bit of excess, you can turn it round and... Ta-da! You now have Hessian in a frame, which I think looks really, really nice, really girly and just cool, a bit interesting. So once you have decided that you're happy with that, you want to take a dry wipe pen and you can write whatever you like on it. I'm going to use this as a to-do list, but you could maybe use it as ideas, inspiration, like um, write down your friend's birthdays, or you could get your friends to write you a little message every time they come to your house. But we're just going to have to-do list. film, video. So this is how we've made our lovely to-do list and now I'm going to show you how to turn this into a really cool vanity tray for all your jewels and accessories and makeup. To make this vanity tray all you're going to need is the same frame as last time, some pretty paper and a pair of scissors and possibly a pen. Now I will just say when I ordered this thought it was going to be a lot smaller so this is actually a ginormous vanity board but I think that if you're going to do this at home maybe try a slightly smaller board unless you have a giant dressing table and a lot a lot a lot of stuff to put on it but we'll work with what we've got so you need to take some really nice paper you can get craft paper or scrapbook paper or wrapping paper or anything that you like that you think is pretty you want to take your board I've already got the back off of this flip it over Hello. So you want to take your really nice craft paper, slot it in. This fits perfectly, but I just need to trim a tiny bit off the top. So I'll just make a little fold so I know where I'm going with the trim. Or again, if you want it to be a bit more accurate, you could just draw around either the perspex or the back of the frame so that you know exactly what you're doing. It doesn't need to be very, very neat. Thank goodness. Boink. Press it all down, make sure it's all flat, which this is. Take your backing board, pop that on. This is actually a little bit easier than the Hessian one because you're working with a flatter material. Slot that in, bend all these down, and then flip it over. Ah, and you've got a really pretty vanity board that is ginormous in my case and you can put anything on this for example all your bits and bobs of jewellery it's a really nice way to display things and you can spread your necklaces out because I don't know about you but when I put mine in a bag they all just get really like tangled up like they're doing just here it's a nice way to display everything or if you wanted you could just put your makeup -y bits out, like your everyday makeup, so it's really close to hand and you don't have to like faff around trying to find it. 
it's just a nice way to display things. Next up, I'm going to show you how to turn this same frame into a really cool chalkboard. This is the same frame that we used earlier for the Hessian to-do board and also the vanity tray and while we have not been rolling I've painted it all but it's still pretty wet so I'm not going to handle it too much but I have also painted the backing board, you see that used to go on the back, with chalkboard paint so we just need to pop this in and then we can make this a really cool chalkboard for our bedrooms. So, as you can see, I've put the actual board into the slightly wet frame, obviously, wait for it to dry at home, but I think we can all agree this is super cool for your bedroom, and you just take regular chalk, and you can just doodle whatever you like on it. So, obviously, I'm going to write I heart at Daily Mix TV. I hope you have enjoyed learning how to make three different things out of one frame, the shabby chic hessian to-do board, the vanity tray, and the very cool chalkboard. Let me know what thing you would probably make if you had an old frame, or if you have any other cool ideas, I'd be really interested to know. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching, goodbye.